Okay, in this video, what we are going to do is this exercise. What is done to the function sin of x to create the function x h of x. So first of all, I'm going to graph the function sin of x, okay? Just to clarify. So in this in this case we have the point zero, which means sin of zero is going to be zero, sin of p over six is going to be one over two, sin of p over three, remember p the value is one hundred eighty. So in this case is the sin the sine of mm, sixty degree is going to be uh, square root of 3 over 2 and the sin uh, t pi over 2 is going to be 1 and this one if you see is symmetric this is going to be the reflex of the sin of p over 3 and so on and so forth it's going to be periodic okay so we continue the same here instead of 1 over 2 it's going to be minus 1 over 2 and this one we continue the same instead of a square root of 3 over 2 we have the same but with minus and here we have the same minus 1 and it's gonna be this so this is the function sin x just I'm, 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 I'm making a graph just from 0 to 2 pi which means until the 360 grade which is commonly used so this is the, the graph now I'm going to represent this function h of x to understand what is the transformation of this function. So the first thing I have to apply is the h of 0. So instead of x I'm going to put 0. It's going to be the sine of minus p over 2 which is going to be minus square root of 2 over 2 times 3. It's going to be this part. So this is going to be the first point. The second point is the the p over 6. So p over 6 minus p over 4, the sign of this one, remember this one is 180 divided by 6 is going to be 30 degrees minus this one is going to be 45 degrees, it's going to be the sign of minus 15 and it's going to be uh, times 3. So it's here we still need a, a 3 which is here. I forgot to put uh, this one here, but it's going to be here, okay? So this is going to be the value. This is the second point. The third point is going to be the same. Uh, this one, um, instead of um, putting x, I'm going to put p pi over 3. And in this case, it's again 3. I just miss it. And you realize now how this is symmetric, okay? These three points, they are symmetric. I mean, this one is minus and this one is the same but but it's going to be positive so the next one is going to be uh, the value of this one okay which is going to be this okay after this one uh, is going to be this it's going to be 2 pi over 3 minus pi over 4 uh, times 3 is this value the next value is going to be the same so each implies that the maximum is going to be somewhere here in the middle okay and after it start to go to go to go down okay with this same this one is going to be the same point here it's going to be the uh, this point is going to be symmetric so I just constructed this one is going to be negative of this one this one is going to be this but negative okay and this one is going to be this okay it's going to be a repeat because the minimum is somewhere here in the middle and this one is going to be this okay so this is the graph of of this one so which characteristic we see here this number make that the the red uh, function is going to be compressed okay this value the higher the value the more compressed this function is this is the first characteristic and this one is going to make the let's say the movement of this curve so if you see here this is going to be the sign of zero okay which is going to be zero 
so this one is pi over 4 so it means that compared with the gx g of x this value is going to be shift to the right through uh, pi over 4 units so the answer is the function g of x which is this one is vertically compressed um, this one you see is vertically compressed okay if you see this one is going to be like a little bit uh, is compressed compared to this one okay is is vert compressed you see how it's compressed compared to this one vertically you see because this one is like wider so this is compressed vertically by a factor of 3 which is going to be this and it will also be shifted to the left as you see here to the left pi over 4 units so that's all i hope it has worked for you great success with the mathematics and see you in the next video bye bye